Hey girls, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. Um, I tried and tried and tried to get several views in here together and it's just not gonna work. So we're just gonna use the book today, okay? We are starting the story of the New Testament. And um, so we will be going into the story of the New Testament and the geography and structure of the New Testament, okay? Um, so in our books, we're gonna talk about the geography of the gospels. And this is how the book looks. Um, I'm actually just gonna share my Kindle for a few minutes and show it to you. And I may actually do a different video and show you Jerusalem and the different places in Google Earth, uh, just for the fun of it. Um, they start out by telling us that the geography of the New Testament um, you know, that we need to get a good perspective of it. So um, it says that Israel is a tiny country compared to the United States. And, um, and then he tells you what to do. But anyway, we're gonna go to the next page and talk about it. Um, we have the Mediterranean Sea, which is here. These are bodies of water that we studied in the Old Testament. We have the Sea of Galilee here, we have the Jordan River, and we have the Dead Sea right here. Um, and we had talked about this when we were studying the Old Testament. And um, I'm just gonna flip over, make sure this is working. Okay, so um, the primary, it says geographical area in the Gospels is about the same um, that was ruled by the nation of Israel in the Old Testament. However, the land now is known as Palestine. So before we had uh, the northern province of Israel after the kings took over, and we had the southern province of Israel. And this, all, this whole area really was Israel. And then now that um, they are under rule, um, because they're under rule by Rome, this whole area is known now as Palestine, okay, um, in our Old Testament. So what was used to be Israel, and in the very beginning of the Old Testament, this whole area was Canaan. And then once, the, once they anointed a monarchy and the kings, it became Israel. And then they split up, had kind of like a civil war. We had the northern province, the southern, southern province. So now it's switched to Palestine. Um, so in, the, in this area, they actually have all these provinces um, and it, it's been divided into sections. They have the province of Galilee, which is located between the Mediterranean Sea and this is the Mediterranean Sea and it shares its name, Galilee. Um, this is the providence that Jesus considered his home. Both Nazareth, his early home and Capernaum is in this uh, Galilee province, province, okay? Then we have the province of Samaria, which is located between the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River, so it's this area, okay? So Jesus' home was more like up in here, and then the Samaria area is in this part, okay? Then we have the province of Judea, which is between the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea, so it's gonna be more like you know, here. So you've got the Sea of Galilee, the Mediterranean, the Jordan River, the Mediterranean, and the Judea area, which is between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean. Then you have this province of Perea, which Chris had never even heard of. Um, it doesn't, apparently it's not mentioned a whole lot. It says it's a long, narrow province on the east bank of the Jordan River. Jesus spent some concentrated time there with his disciples towards the end of his ministry, okay? Now we also, in like here is the uh, application to these places. So let's just say the province of Galilee, we talked about first was here where the A is. The province of Samaria was here. Uh, this down here was uh, Judea, I believe. And then we had the Perea, which was over here on the east side of the Jordan River. 
and now we're going to talk about um, the city of Nazareth, which is um, the city that it says it's located in Galilee, just west of the Sea of Galilee. It is the town where Mary and Joseph lived in which Jesus grew up. And that is this area, oh, say, this, this area here, okay? Which is really over here, right there it is, okay? So then we have the city of Capernaum. It's at the very top of the Sea of Galilee where Jesus called home during his ministry years. So it's up here. Then we have the city of Jerusalem, which is down here. Um, and then we have the city of Bethlehem. So you have Jerusalem and you have Bethlehem. Now, it says um, the bodies of water are the same as for the Gospels. Only more of the Mediterranean is involved. And it really is. You're about to see that on the next page because there's countries and cities. Now, we're going to go through this in a slower format when we go throughout our individual chapters. So, but this is just a lot of information in one day, kind of like, it was kind of like a, a synopsis of what we will be learning. So one um, was the country of Ga uh, Galatia, okay? And, um, wait a minute. I'm going backwards, I'm sorry girls and guys. All right. It's located in modern day Turkey, and it was the destination of the Apostle Paul's first missionary journey. All right, so here we have it in a larger format where we can see it kind of zoomed out. Here are the, um, is the Nile coming out of Egypt. This over here is the Mediterranean, uh, this large piece of water is the Mediterranean Sea. And then here's our small um, waters, which is Sea of Galilee, Jordan River, and the Dead Sea. And then, um, so they're about to tell us, we're about to be expanding way up in here because what happened in the Gospels is once Jesus died, Paul carried the Gospel all throughout this area, okay? And the dark is the water and the white is the country. You can see Italy right here. You know, it always looks like a boot. So you can see Italy's here, which is number four, the country of Italy. It says it was located, and it is actually located where Italy still is, and was called Italy at the time. And uh, some of these places have changed uh, names, but Italy remains the same. It is um, where Paul was imprisoned and his final death was here in Italy, okay? Um, five is the city of Jerusalem, which is way over here. And Jerusalem, um, of course, was the, where the early Christian church started, okay? Let's see, it says Greece is number two, which is here. Um, it says that Greece is also still the modern Greece and it was Paul's secondary missionary journey. So his first missionary journey was here, which was Turkey, which makes sense because he's traveling, you know, makes sense he would go there first because it's the closest. Um, and then he went from there to Greece, here, and from there to Asia, here, and it's also known as Turkey now. Then Four, he went to Italy. Five, the city of Jerusalem. We talk about the city of Damascus is up here, way over here. You see that dot? Um, it says it is also located in this modern Damascus. So when we go in Google Earth, you're going to see some of these places. The city of Caesarea is um, seven, which is up here to the left of the Sea of Galilee. And the city of Antioch was eight, which is way up here at the, at the point. Um, and then the city of Rome is nine. And I'm not really going to talk a lot about, uh, you know, getting real detailed. I just kind of want us to find our place on the map tonight, today, mostly. So you've got bodies of water, the Dead Sea, 
the Jordan River, the Mediterranean Sea, the Sea of Galilee, and you've got cities and provinces of Bethlehem, Capernaum, Galilee, Jerusalem, Judea, Nazareth, Pierre, and Samaria. The countries, the cities, um, are Asia, Galatia, Greece, Italy, and in Asia, I guess there would be Antioch, in Galatia, there's Caesarea, I'm not sure if that's what that means or not, in Greece, Damascus, in Italy, Jerusalem, no, that can't be right, no, that can't be right. Uh, these are countries and these are just cities, but they're not necessarily in the one that they're uh, across from. Now, um, the next page, you'll see that we have three main eras in the New Testament. We're going to have the Gospels, which are the life of Jesus of Nazareth, and two, the church, the formation of the Christian church, and three missions, the expansion of the church into, Roman, into the Roman Empire, okay? So if we want to do a review from the Old Testament, we can see, um, you know, this is starting to review that storyline. And we've seen that many times. So he wants us to see that we're about to do another storyline of the Bible, but it's going to be of the New Testament. Okay, so let's kind of skip up to that. And we will see, he's trying to fill it out a little bit here. And he says the Gospels. Uh, the church and the missions, uh, and then he lets us know with the Gospels, it's Jesus Christ as the figure, with the church, it's Peter, and with missions, it's Paul, and uh, so Jesus, of course, is, is the predicted Messiah in the Gospels, Peter's the leader of the early church, and Paul is the first Christian missionary, okay, so we get to the uh, review and um, he gives us a description. So we have um, the Gospels with Jesus. His location was in Palestine. It says the general land area that was known as Canaan and Israel in the Old Testament is commonly known as Palestine in the New Testament. It includes the Roman provinces of Galilee, Samaria, Judea. The ancient city of Jerusalem has been in the same location throughout most of biblical history. So then you have um, the church with Peter in Jerusalem, and it says this, uh, this was after the kingdom era, of course. It is the city that gave birth to the early church. As Paul spread the message of Christianity, he took it to the heart of the Roman Empire. So that's our location with missions in Paul. And um, it says it is everything from Palestine north into what is modern Turkey, and west through the modern Greece to Italy. So um, we see that everything north of here and to the west is, of course, where our missions, where Paul's missionary journey was, okay? So um, let's see what we got. It says, Congratulations, you have taken a big step toward mastering an overview of the New Testament. From now on, we will get more specific, but you have a basic structure well in hand. So what he's going to do is, this is our old arch, arc of the Bible history in the Old Testament that we learned. Um, so tomorrow we'll talk about the gospel era. So he's going to, you know, of course, make this a lot easier to understand and smaller uh, descriptions. But for today, I just kind of wanted us to get an overall picture of the geography. And um, that's why I chose to share my screen. Um, also, if I would love to be able to switch it, but it won't let me, I don't think. Um, let's see if I can just stop sharing and it just goes back to my face. We'll see. Um,